And uh, we're back with the uh, boss fight. One more time. Yep. Uh, actually, this boss fight is pretty. Um, it's a bit harder on the hardest difficulty, mostly Funny because that. I. Uh, mostly because I tend to screw up. Um, I keep forgetting that I switch between guys, hide them behind a barrier. They can take more hits when I'm not in them than when I'm in them because. Insane mode difficulty. Mm. Um, yeah, it's funny how and, uh, on, the, on insane mode the soldiers are more durable than you are. Well, if they weren't, you couldn't get through the game. Mm. Basically, it, it just um, it what we'll call it encourages you to overdive more, which is the whole point. Yeah. So uh, there was a guy who said he did not know you could shoot the wings off yeah, it was of this boss. It's it's kind of hard to miss considering the wings are like splintering into like really little, little pieces and flying everywhere. Personally, I mean, I didn't notice it. Apparently. And oh, haste! Look at this. Oh god. Look at this. Just totally murdering the boss. Almost got another stagger ready, even. Go well with the sniper, though. Gotta have the sniper equipped, and that's not what I wanted to use. I wanted to get liberation up again. Uh, so, um, as I uh, forgot to explain before, I managed to do it once in the uh, normal one. When it does this, if you shoot, I think it only threw the bees down and let it charge up the the orb that is the globe that is charging up just enough and then either I'm not sure if it's just because there's one bee and it can't fire off properly or if you just time it right with destroying the final bee then it'll basically hit itself with the big orb and do massive damage to itself. I'm really horrible at doing that properly. But you know, now I've now I've, now I've said it. Now it's been said and it can't be unsaid. <laughs> yeah. And me stuttering as usual because I'm socially awkward. Herp derp. <laughs> it's okay, it's not your fault. We have the Asperger's. Yeah, but I don't know. No, he doesn't. At least I can make fun of myself and still laugh. That's the important part. And then you go in the corner and a bit of a cry. Nah. <laughs> and I realized, oh god, why did I overdrive to this person? Oh god, why did it move there? And yeah, that's why I said, oh. And this is what it looks like when the APC blows up. I'm, I do realize I, I called it a Humvee once. That is not a Humvee. You'll have people from TFR coming in being very upset. I'm sure they are. Unfortunately, they're all silent. No, you know, because they're all busy being snipers. Snipers don't That's call. true. <laughs> Uh, I, th I think uh, at this point, yeah, this is what it looks like when it does that attack. Basically, those big uh, stone pillars that cannot be broken, that's what you want to hide behind. Can't hit you then. If you know you can't make it, just hide. None of my attacks are working. Yeah, so I fucked up. Nobody left. I didn't notice that. None of my attacks are working. <laughs> But it doesn't matter because then I get the APC back at full health, as I mentioned once before. So. Yeah, that's. Kind of where it's and I game. immediately. Like bear bit, that sort of thing. Yeah. So, and I immediately more or less get the <laughs> APC destroyed. <laughs> the second I get my hands on it because I'm stupid enough not to overdive. And I did it again. That's a sliver of health left. I'm surprised he's even standing. I think by, I think by that I'm... point it's just being held together by willpower. Yeah. Um, and the, the, the unfortunate thing is this: one is a combination of me being stupid, and two, the boss is getting some really good angles on the guys I just exactly jump into. 
Yeah, speaking of the APC being held together by willpower. Yeah, I noticed the life bar is kinda low. Oh, there we go. Yeah. You know, generally, this boss I usually die a couple times to until I sort of get it right. Then go for liberation. Yeah. Um, and generally, the also this is the this episode is the only time we will ever see stinkers. But the. Um, but they make a lasting impression. Yeah. No, actually, they're not that bad. They're well, pardon my French, piss weak. It's okay, we're big boys and girls, we're alive to say swear. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah, I'm hiding. And they shoot me through the walls! <laughs> Bullshit! Bullshit! <coughs> One more thing. Yeah. But, um... I'd say the reason? why uh, this is the only episode we ever see Stinkerson is because in the files they mention that uh, they have like a queen bee and all the Stinker's life force is linked to this queen bee and if the queen bee dies all the Stinkers die since it's basically like a hive mind or something like that so um my guess is they're talking about um Gabrielle yeah that makes sense Oh, so, I can definitely see why they only show up in this mission. So, now I decide, screw it, I'm breaking out the big guns. I'm actually finally gonna resort to using this sniper at the boss. I was trying to hold back and, you know, not do it. And again, me just freaking to switch out weapons between the uh, recordings. Now the um, I could I could have been boring and I could have just cut out all these deaths and tried to look really pro until the mm -hmm. death count came up uh, at the end. But um, I don't know if I if it's like a boss only at a chapter and I cut out all the deaths. Um, again, I died. Would have been a bit. Funny I cut out all the, then the boss fight will probably be like three to five minutes each boss. Mm. And it, it basically if I'm cutting cutting out all backtracking, basically the only the first episode had backtracking. Um, but if I cut all these sort of things out, then the videos will be... well, there'll be nothing to watch. So that's why I figure I'm going to keep that thing. Plus, uh, the friend who Got me, well, taunted me to do Let's Plays. Oh, the, yeah, funny story that that's basically the reason why I'm doing Let's Plays here. Um, I was taunted into doing it, goaded into it. Finally, I just said, you know what? I know you're just joking, but screw it. Now I'm actually going to do it. But, um, he said, keep some deaths in because I actually like to watch deaths. I hate it when you know, people cut all the deaths out and I get to watch five minutes uh, per level or something like that. So uh, I took that to heart. But I also took uh, to heart what the Michelle in the forums said. I think that's... Michelle Parameter? Who said it? Yeah. Uh, said, like, you know, cut out some unnecessary things. And, yeah, you know, you know, if there's too many deaths, I will cut deaths out. But if there's, like, three or four deaths through an entire video and it's, like, basically here where I'd spend two minutes and then I die, spend one minute, I die, spend two minutes, I die, then I don't think that's worthy of cutting out. I mean, I can see if it's like a 50 deaths and then I might as well make a death reel. Set to some amusing music. Yeah. Not Yakety Sykes because that's just painful now. No. That's why I use something even more painful like the Neverhood from my first bonus video. Yeah, I don't know. Lots of people like the Neverhood. Yeah, but but just that one particular song, I have people foaming around the mouths every time I hum it, going, 
Well, they're basically their argument is fuck you, because now they can't get it out of their head the next couple of days. Yeah, if you, I had to remind them. If you want a good one for that, Google Macadamia. Um. But the problem is they played the Neverhood to death, so now they they know that song. I never played it myself. It's one of those, oh, that's awesome, one of those things I've always figured that I probably should, but you know I've, I've got like uh, I've got several hundred games looking at me, going, uh, "Excuse me, what about me?" Yeah, am I not see, special? Here, I actually let Barrier save me. Very Mostly because close. I don't have a choice. Well, I do have a choice, but choice would probably give me another game over. So my trigger fingers, yeah, not so triggery. Triggery, that's not even a word. What am I talking about? Trigger-esque. trigger -esque. Trigger, -esque. trigger -esque. that sounds more like a treat, or maybe like a female trigger. It's a trigger-esque. Oh, trigger-esque. It has... Don't worry, don't, don't worry about me, I am notorious for... Inventing Hearing works. what I want to hear. <laughs> And barrier again. What the hell, man? I'm not complaining. I certainly wouldn't. Hint, hint, use the sniper, she says. Thank you. I didn't know. Ah, now it works a little bit, bit better because I actually get a guy who had a sniper with a long scope. But uh, yeah, getting getting back to like um, a lot of the game. This is where we got a couple of minutes. I really feel that even though Hyde Boar is keeping the most lines of the game because he's sitting and like talking to you through the voice calm and all in it, basically more or less every single cutscene. Hmm. I'm really pissed that they didn't get like a guy with a Danish accent. <laughs> he's from Denmark for crying out loud. Yeah, but he's living in America. Could be like you know. Fifth or sixth generation? No, his father. His father comes from Denmark. He just basically migrated to the U.S. Yeah. Anyway, that was uh, the well, four deaths, not too bad. And uh, that's the end of the video. See you next time, folks. There's a river in the mountains north of the village. You'll see a water pipe running across that's got a walkway you can use as a bridge. I guess they built it to carry water from the hydroelectric plant. To get there, though, you gotta get past the barricade north of the prison. Got it. El Basilisco supposedly lives in the gorge up there, so be careful you don't get distracted and fall in the river. The Basilisco? Not the big monster I saw. I mean, the real Basilisco. <laughs> a real one? The legendary king of snakes? More like a lizard, I guess. It walks on top of the river. A uh, lizard that walks on water? Man, you should see it! It's not that big, though. Only about one bat long. Pretty good size for a lizard. Yeah, but not nearly as big as a dinosaur.